Hey guys, so today we're gonna make uh, a request actually. So we had a request to make cilantro uh, lime chicken. So I'm gonna uh, make my version of that. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients we're gonna be working with and then I'll go over how to break them down and then get the chicken marinating. It's a super simple uh, dish. Uh, the way I'm gonna make it, I'm just gonna uh, take a little bit of time to make the marinade, get it on the chicken. The chicken sits for at least one hour, um, you know, two, three, four, even doing this overnight in the fridge would be great. But uh, if you don't have a whole lot of time or if you wanna do this, you know, quickly, at least an hour of uh, marinating. So, all right, uh, take a look at the ingredients and I'll meet you right back here. Here you can see our ingredients. I'm gonna use one family size pack of chicken drumsticks. I'm gonna use half a bunch of cilantro, about eight garlic cloves, the zest of two limes and the juice of three, about a tablespoon of chili flakes, a tablespoon of salt, and about a half tablespoon of chili lime seasoning. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get the cilantro chopped up. So for that, um, you know, you don't have to be super careful with this because uh, it is going to cook on the grill um, for, for a good amount of time. So if there is some stem in the uh, in the mixture, uh, that's totally fine. Um, I'm actually going to save the stems because there's a lot of flavor in it um, and I can use it in kind of like soups or, um, you know, other, there's other things I can use the stems for. So I'm setting those aside. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to get through all this and then I will meet you back here. Look, it's all gathered. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do um, a pretty fine chop, so. You know, be careful when you do this. Um, if you have a food processor, you could totally do it in there. Just give it a couple pulses. Uh, you could actually bring this whole thing together in a food processor. I'm gonna do it in a mortar and pestle. Um, actually, it's a beautiful mortar and pestle. It was a gift um, from my sister this Christmas. I think it's made out of olive wood. Um, it's really nice. And speaking of gifts, this knife, uh, shout out to my buddy Micah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Micah. <laughs> All right, so I got this pretty broken down, pretty chopped up. It doesn't have to be super fine because you are gonna, you know, crush it up a bit in the um, in the process. But you know, you don't want any huge pieces in there either. So All right. I'm probably gonna save a little bit of that to use as garnish at the end. So maybe save about a, a quarter of that. Um, I, have, I have probably about a quarter cup, you know, just set, and maybe about a third of a cup, but um, just set, you know, a good chunk of that aside and the rest can go into your marinade. So, all right. That can go straight into here. Actually, you know what, straight into here, I'm gonna do the zest of two limes. I was gonna do three, but um, I found some chili lime seasoning in my pantry and I'm gonna use some of that in the marinade. So I don't think I need as much lime as I did at the beginning of this, so. And you know, it'll be nice to save the lime, um, you know, maybe for a gin and tonic or something. Quarantini, right? <laughs> That's good, that's enough. So, back in the fridge. Get all that down. Um, so, I've got a bunch of garlic cloves. Um, you can, if you have a garlic press, which I do, um, you could totally, you know, break them down or just squish them in that, but I have my microplane. I'm telling you, get one of these. They're amazing, um, handy, so I might as well just go right through with them. Um, microplanes are great for as you can see, breaking down uh, garlic really fine. It's great for zesting. You can do uh, like different cheeses. Um, they're just, you know, really, really great. Um, it's a great tool, so definitely pick one up. All right, so I'm gonna do all this garlic and I'll meet you right back here. So I've done about yeah, six, seven garlic cloves through my microplane. Um, I've probably got about a heaping tablespoon of uh, zested garlic in there. <laughs> Funny word. Um, I'm actually gonna save, there's still a good amount of garlic left from the zesting process. It's just I didn't wanna grill my fingernail, or you know, fingernails into it. So um, I'm gonna save that just because 
we don't really want to waste anything. Um, all right, into the mortar and pestle, we're also gonna do about a teaspoon of chili flake. You don't have to do that, I, just, I like it spicy, so I'm um, gonna do that. About a tablespoon of salt. Um, it seems like a lot, there's a lot of chicken, so you know, we, we want a lot. Um, the chili lime seasoning, there is a bit of kind of saltiness, but not much actually in this one, but about half a tablespoon. Yeah, that's, that's a good amount, so. Into that, we're also gonna do the juice of two limes. I have very, they're very small, so if you have one lime that's, you know, relatively large, probably just the juice of one, but I mean, look, this is itty bitty, so. This juice is straight, and there's not a lot of juice in these. Um, so. Okay. <laughs> there's like no juice in these. Ugh. I might need the juice of that other lime that went back to the fridge. <laughs> See, maybe this one's better. Nope, not much. <laughs> Actually, this one has a fair amount. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Alright. So, I don't really have another use for these. You could probably figure one out, but compost it if you do. All right, so I'm gonna crush this all up and get it onto the chicken and wrap it up in some uh, saran wrap. And then I'm gonna actually leave it out on the counter because this is pretty cold. I just pulled it from the fridge. So I'm gonna be grilling in about an hour. So I'm gonna let it sit, come up to room temperature, sit in the marinade, and then it's gonna go right onto the fire. So, all right, once it's all uh, you know ready uh, to be wrapped up, I'll meet you back here. So the game plan has actually changed. It started to rain, uh, which is no good for grilling. Um, at least, I'm not that desperate. I have grilled in the rain, I've grilled in the snow, but I just don't feel like it. Um, so, the chicken, I'm, a, I'm gonna actually, now that I have all the ingredients ground up, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil and uh, mix it in as well. Get it on as I, as I planned before. I'm gonna actually bake this. I'll probably do uh, open, you know, open on a, on a grilling rack, something like that. I'll show you what I mean. Um, to kind of get the closest, you know, crispy skin as to the grill that I can do, so. Um, I wouldn't probably add that much oil if it was going on the grill because this is something that I like to cook really slow on the grill because um, they're pretty big, you know, chicken legs. You want to cook them all the way through. You want them to be tender. Um, so they're going to spend a lot of time on the heat, but you don't want the skin to burn. So for that, you want it to be low, um, but you don't want it to flare up either. But if there was a bunch of oil in the marinade, it would flare up and it would just char the skin and smoke. It would be gross. So um, now, that, now that it's going in the oven, I'm going to give it a little bit of oil just to kind of help, you know, crisp up the skin in this, uh, you know, this cooking technique. So, um, all right, I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you right back here. Oh, the oil has been added, nice and mixed up, so I'm just gonna, you know, dump it right. Oh, you know what? Let's give you guys a There we go. Okay, whole bunch. Uh, it's a family size pack, so I think it's 10, um, 10 or 12, whatever comes in that big, you know, family size. So, you know, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna have to use my hands, but I'm gonna try to get most of it out before I do. But, yeah, all right. This first. There's a bunch on here, don't waste it. Um, it's a lot of flavor, so you're gonna run it in there. So, scoop it all out. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty anyway in a second. So, you have gloves, use them, um, especially now, but this is for me, and um, I'm fine, you know, handling raw chicken. I'm gonna wash up real, real well, so all right, just get it all mixed up. make sure it's all evenly coated. You know what could also be nice in here? Uh, maybe a little, <laughs> sorry Sharon. <laughs> maybe a little orange zest, um, some kind of uh, sour tangerine or some, you know, some, some kind of, maybe one more bit of citrus. Um, I think cilantro is good with most uh, citrus flavor. So, um, you know, make it your own. This is certainly not an authentic recipe. I'm making it up uh, just kind of with what I uh, think would taste good. So. 
it's all evenly coated. My hands are a complete disaster, so I'm gonna go wash them and I'll meet you right back here. Cover with saran wrap. No way. First try. Usually me and saran wrap don't have a good relationship. But it was nice that it behaved for the camera. <laughs> Alright, so covered. I'm just gonna sit out to the side, let it still come up to room temperature, let it sit for about an hour. Um, yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this board cleaned up, uh, get all these dishes put away, and then I'm gonna get my cauliflower. I'm gonna serve this with some nice uh, charred cauliflower. It was gonna be on the grill, now it's gonna have to be under the broiler, um, but it, it should be pretty delicious. So uh, I'll meet you right back here and I'll show you uh, what I'm doing. All right, so I just finished chopping all the cauliflower. Um, you know, big pieces like this, they're gonna sit in the oven for a while, so we don't want them to completely cook down to like mush. So, uh, you know, a bigger piece will kind of give it a little bit more resistance um, so we can get it brown and nice, and nice and golden and crispy and perfect, so. All right, I'm gonna get my sheet trays and get everything assembled and I'll show you all what that looks like when we're back. All right, the chicken is ready to go into the oven on a cookie sheet lined with foil, and then on top of that is a roasting rack, and then the chicken's on top of that. 350, uh, the chicken's gonna probably take, I'm just gonna think probably about uh, at least 45 minutes to an hour until it's like real nice. So um, I'm gonna put that in about 30 minutes, 20 minutes ahead of the cauliflower, um, but I'm gonna get the cauliflower ready before I put that chicken in because once it's, you know, once, Everything's made and you know ready to go in. I can just clean up and I won't have to make this mess twice. So, all right, um, I put the cauliflower in the same bowl that I took the chicken out of because this cauliflower is gonna cook, so you don't have to worry about the cross-contamination. I actually, there's so much flavor in here, the garlic and the lime and the cilantro, that it'd be a shame to you know kind of waste it. So I'm gonna add up some more flavor just because um, most of what was in this bowl went on the chicken, but um, we'll just do a nice, Couple times around um, with a nice olive oil. I'm gonna toss that through, but first we're gonna do a nice um, two pinches of salt. Yeah, nice. And then in here I have a mix of cumin and uh, chili powder, so about half a tablespoon of both of those. So yeah. I'll put probably half of this on now, and then once I lay it out, if it looks like it needs more, I'll give it another sprinkle. But I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, save a little bit. All right, with my hands, mix this through. Make sure everything's coated. I actually, um, I'm cooking all the, the cauliflower. Once I had it on a sheet tray, I realized, yes, it'll fit. Um, and once it cooks down, um, I bet we'll probably eat all of it tonight, so. All right. Get it all mixed up. And then this is gonna go on a sheet tray as well. I'm gonna put the chicken in uncovered. Um, and then in about 30 minutes, if it's starting to, you know, I can reassess if I want to gently cover it. Uh, I want to put the cauliflower in, so. All right. And the sheet tray. There's a sheet tray there, trust me, not the floor. <laughs> Just a quick look before these hit the oven. I'm telling you, these are going to be delicious. I mean, check these out one hour later. Boom. All right, well, we've had a really fun time making this video today. It was exceptionally delicious. I really hope you give this recipe a try. Uh, make it for yourself, make it for your, your loved one, whoever you might be sheltered in place with. Um, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you again soon. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay home. See you soon.